officer, but at one point during the course uh, of the evening, there was an exchange of gunfire. According to Darren Campbell's affidavit, between 11.40 p.m. and 11.45 p.m., RCMP members reported that they heard more gunshots and encountered another house on fire. At about 11.55 p.m., a witness told RCMP members in Porta Peak that there might be multiple shooters. So why the very next day are RCMP convinced it was a lone shooter? As we believe it to be one person who's responsible for all, all the killings and uh, that he alone moved across the northern part of the province and committed uh, would appear several uh, homicides. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the lone suspect, uh, has that, that part of the investigation has now been turned over to CERT for investigation because our officers were involved in terminating the threat. We're not looking for any other suspects in relation to the uh, shooting spree that occurred uh, yesterday and the day before. Uh, however, the investigation continues, uh, but we do not believe that there is any additional threat related to this particular investigation for the public. We're checking homes for victims and or for suspects. But at one point during the course uh, of the evening, there was an exchange of gunfire. They were. An RCMP officer was. The RCMP keep changing the story, hoping we have all forgotten what they have said in the past. Keep looking for the truth.